Lauren. Hey, Laura. <laughs> Do you want to remember some celebrity couples? Yeah, I'm definitely down for that. No, we really don't have any idea what's going to be in there. We were, like, surprised by these. So... I can't open. Yeah, I'm worried. <laughs> Britney Spears. Britney Spears dated Colin Farrell? Colin Farrell. No, I had no idea. That's a weird couple. Colin Farrell, like, I guess had a weird phase and then he turned back into a respected actor, but like... I only remember her dating, like, Kevin Justin Sutterline Timberlake. is like the main one that comes to mind in Justin Timberlake, yeah. Oh, right. But he looks good in that picture, though. Like a young Colin Farrell. I don't know. <laughs> Next, we have Christina Applegate and Brad Pitt. No, okay, I didn't know that they dated either. <laughs> um, was this, how what old is Brad Pitt? What is she famous for? Um, oh God. Was she unmarried with children? Like in the 80s? You wouldn't. I know you don't know pop culture. You also weren't alive in the 80s. No, so that's I true, but like, you know that. that's gotta be like pre Jennifer Aniston Brad Pitt, I think. Because he looks young in that. He, he looks, looks like younger. Like a child. At, that's like mid 90s at the latest. Yeah. But I don't know. They seem like a solid couple. Yeah, they look happy. Ooh. Myla Kunis and Macaulay Culkin? Oh, yeah, they did it for a long time. Really? Yeah. I'm. A, I don't know how I know this, but like, yeah, I'm just like aware that they did it for like eight years in like, I don't know, the mid to late 2000s. I know Macaulay Culkin goes by Mac now. I'm aware of that from like having listened to interviews with him, which like, I don't know, that's a cool thing to go by, I guess, yeah. if you're like world famous. Some guy named Ryan me. Philippe and Reese Witherspoon. Oh my God, love them. <laughs> uh, Cruel Intentions, great movie, you gotta watch it. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they met on the set of that movie or if they were already dating or what, but like, I mean, they broke up eventually. So, or I think they got married and divorced. Oh. But um, I don't know. They gave us cruel intentions. I'm just extremely happy for that. That's like top 20 favorite movies for me. I like Ryan Felipe's hair in that. Yeah. What? <laughs> Madonna and Dennis Rodman? Oh, yeah. I was a, well, I remember hearing about that. It's just like one of the very long list of things that Dennis Rodman did that is just like kind of insane. And I guess also More one of the long list of like- More than the North Korea stuff. Less insane, cause like Madonna is like attractive and like famous and rich. It's more of a weird move for Madonna, honestly, than it is for Dennis Rodman. Like good on Dennis Rodman for being yeah. able to finesse that. Rihanna and Drake. Did, they didn't actually. Yeah, get it. that was like a fake Drake wishes. Thing. Yeah. Didn't he try to like profess his love to her and so? Yeah, I think that was like the VMAs award or something. show and she was just like, I hate Maybe you. Maybe it was the Grammys. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't hate, she brushed him off pretty, uh, she hates him. <laughs> he so is just like the ultimate date. bandwagoner though. He tries to get with anyone who's Well, the rumors being, now, this is like breaking news that he's like supposedly was like into Kim Kardashian. Really? But, I mean, I don't believe it, but like it's it's fun to think about. Good drama. Yeah. Some other man I definitely know, <laughs> Ben Gibbard and Oh Zoe my God, Deschanel. I was hoping, okay. I was literally <laughs> hoping like before we started this that uh, you'd do Ben Gibbard and Zoe Deschanel. There ben Gibbard is the lead singer of Death Cab for Cutie. Um, like an indie band of the mid 2000s. Zoe Deschanel, do you know? You know Zoe yeah, Deschanel. Yeah, okay. girl. Just like kind of hipster quirky. girl, quirky. Yeah, I don't want to put her in that box. I think she is a very talented actress. Oh. But yeah, they are like, uh, can you can stereotype them as like the quirky hipster couple. Then Ben Gibbard started making some bad albums and they broke up. But whatever. <laughs> Did they break up because he was making bad albums? I think it was a, a symptom of the relationship. Wow, you're blaming Zoe Deschanel for his bad music? Oh, no. Okay. Good. How'd I do? Good. You definitely remembered more than I did, so <laughs> good job. Cool. Is that, is that good? <laughs> <laughs>